Mike Huckabee is the former governor of Arkansas, and he says if Trump loses in 2024, the next election will be decided by bullets. Isn't that nice? He's pro-family and pro-life, by the way, just in case you were wondering. These people are truly dangerous, delusional, deranged, and diabolical. Let's take a look at this. Here is Mike Huckabee issuing a warning, a shot across the bow. Trump doesn't win 24, and we claim that it was stolen from him. Then in 20, some future year, it will be decided by bullets. Take a look. Do you know how political opponents to those in power are dealt with in third world dictatorships, banana republics, and communist regimes? Well, it's simple. The people in power use their police agencies to arrest their opponents for made-up crimes in an attempt to discredit them, bankrupt them, imprison them, exile them, are all of the above. And if you're not paying attention, you may not realize that Joe Biden is using exactly those tactics to make sure that Donald Trump is not his opponent in 2024. Here's the problem. If these tactics end up working to keep Trump from winning or even running in 2024, it is going to be the last American election that will be decided by ballots rather than bullets. Mike Huckabee there. By the way, he's the father of Sarah Huckabee Sanders, the current governor of Arkansas. So toxic, vi uh, vile political views apparently are hereditary. Mike Huckabee mentions that Joe Biden is using this tactic or that tactic to prevent Donald Trump from being his opponent. There is still not a shred, not an iota, not a sliver, not a crumb of evidence that Joe Biden is doing anything with regard to any of Donald Trump's indictments or the movement to keep Donald Trump off of the ballot for constitutional reasons. If you come to me with tears in your eyes or with your eyes as dry as a bone with evidence that that is going on, that that happened, that Joe Biden's involved, that he's directing these criminal prosecutions in any way, even indirectly, I will evaluate it and present it to my audience if I find it credible. I have no interest in defending Joe Biden. I like that Joe Biden is completely uninvolved in what's going on with Trump. By the way, there is a funny contrast between Biden is so senile, he doesn't even know what's going on. He doesn't know where he is. He doesn't know who his wife is. And he is secretly controlling and orchestrating as some kind of hidden puppet master behind the curtain for criminal trials against Trump and the potential disqualification of Trump on constitutional grounds. That's quite a senile invalid to be doing all of those things. You've got to get your conspiracy theory right. Um, the law and order party, right? And so what I want to remind you, Huckabee says, if Trump loses 24, that'll be it. And then it's going to be bullets. Trump lost the popular vote in 2016. His candidates, many of them lost in the 2018 midterms. Trump lost the popular vote and the electoral vote in 2020. His candidates didn't do well in the midterms in 2022. They lose all the time. And we're supposed to believe that if he simply also loses in 2024, there's something unfair about him losing again. That doesn't make any sense. And by the way, who are you going to go and shoot with the bullets, Mike Huckabee? They never say, oh, no, no, no. It's just if we don't if we don't win by votes, it might get decided by bullets. Oh, OK. All right. This is the sort of thing that causes this race to the bottom of gun ownership I've told you about where many of my left wing friends have gotten guns in the last few years saying, I don't want only these right wing lunatics to have the guns as crazy as it is. I want to have some of the guns, too. They've said to me, it's a race to the bottom and Huckabee's dangerous.